metropolitan municipal any district chief executives ye beto on swaba e ko wi ase ne entumi amem ne so nyina emu no oso for him potem potem amemu o any enkrasi emfunti won sam eso honorable haji alima mahama e chere se entumi amem ne nyina e china ban ne paba that chi bia e bia e bia ye we haven't given up on the election of MMDCs. We cannot give up. We believe that effective decentralization starts with our electing of our MMDCs. And we have to be clear about that. We shouldn't play the ostrich game. So MPP is committed to this process. But we also understand that we have to build a consensus before we can am amend the various provisions, the entrenched provisions through referendum. So we're working, we, we have, we're going to work on that, build consensus towards amendment of the constitution and other consequential laws to allow for the direct popular election of MMDCs on a partisan basis and to devolve more powers to the local authorities. Indeed, the seventh government, that is Nana Adodankwa Kofado's government of the First Republic has sent out very strong signals that perhaps the appropriate time is now. While this may be a step in the right direction, it should be borne in mind that the step to make the local government system partisan cannot be taken without an amendment to the relevant constitutional provisions and consequential amendments to the Local Government Act. The seventh government, he repeats again in the same page, the seventh government of the Fourth Republic has sent out a similar strong signals that it intends to have DCEs elected. This is an inevitable consequence of any decisions to make the local government system partisan.